What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Culination Media and welcome back for some more Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Battle Spot Live. This is only episode number two. I feel like uh, we're a lot farther along than just episode two, but maybe that's just because I was recording a lot of uh, Wi-Fi battles today. I don't really know. Anyway, we are bringing the same team as last time. I will give you guys a little overview in case you guys missed it or you forget exactly what we are running. But before we do that, just a friendly little reminder in case you guys haven't done so already and you would like to share your support to the channel and the series and all that fun stuff, you can do so by clicking that like button right below this video. That helps out a lot and so do your comments down below. So feel free to leave your thoughts back down there. Uh, if you have any suggestions for Pokemon you would like to see me use, uh, you can put that down there. I'm going to record a whole bunch of sessions today, so it's going to be a while before uh, any of those specific uh, suggestions that you put in th this comment section will show up. Uh, and that's just because I'm going on vacation soon, and I had to uh, bulk record because I at one point I had to record... Uh, 115 videos in 20 days and I'm like I'm almost done I've got like 30 videos left over the course of the next four or five days uh, until I get out of here so try to make sure you guys have at least one to two videos a day and so yeah that just means lots of bulk recording that was my main point there all right so as for the Pokemon that we are bringing today we have our choice scarf Diggersby we have a power herb uh, Sky Attack, Acrobatics, High Jump Kick, Swords Dancing, Hall Lucha. We have Mega Manectric, nothing fancy there. Uh, we have Sub Quiver Dance, Vivian. Uh, I believe it is Specially Defensive Sableye, if I'm remembering correctly. I think it is, because I think my Physically Defensive one was bred in black too, so I couldn't bring it to, uh, to Battle Spot. And then we have Sharpedo. It is not Mega Sharpedo, it is Life Orb with Speed Boost. I believe I have Protect, Crunch, Waterfall, and Destiny Bond, which works very well with the Speed Boost. Uh, and you can catch some very powerful threats off guard with that. For some reason, people tend to not expect it from Sharpedo, and I don't know why that is. But anyway, we're getting into our first battle here. I'm going to lead off with Sableye, because we can we can burn some things. It's always good. And we have Swampert out here, and this is actually, uh, this is okay, because I want to burn this thing. They're usually physical attackers, so I will just go for a Will-O-Wisp. We're going to see a Withdrawal on turn one, and my opponent's going to go right into the Sylveon. Okay, that makes sense. That's probably his only special attacker. Uh, they're usually not defensive on Battle Spot, so I would assume that this is just going to be like Choice Specs or Choice Scarf with Hyper Voice, and it's just going to spam Hyper Voice constantly, I would guess. So what we could do is I really don't have much of a switch into this, unfortunately. Diggersby might just get one-shotted. Sableye, obviously, is not taking a Hyper Voice. Halucha is not taking a Hyper Voice. This thing is going to be a problem for my entire team. Uh, it could just sweep my team, honestly. So I'm going for the Protect. I wanted to scout to see what you were going to go for, but we see the double switch into the Swamper here. I don't know what you were expecting there, other than maybe for Sableye to switch out. But uh, either way, I'm going to go for a Will-O-Wisp here. So now we have Swampert Burn. This is great. We're getting some nice passive damage on a bunch of things. The Stealth Rock comes out. Stealth Rocking Swampert on Battle Spot. That is interesting. Interesting. Well, I guess there's a Vivian, or there's potential to have Vivian on my team. So it makes sense to want to uh, lay that down. In comes the Yawn, as we're going to get a foul playoff just to get some, some extra damage, because Swampert has a pretty high natural uh, attack. Actually, that doesn't do much at all. Huh. I wonder if that is just physically defensive Swampert. Very possible. Because even with the turn of burn damage, it's not even down to 50%. Now, the question is, what do we want to switch into? Because I really don't want Sableye to fall asleep. Uh, that Protect and the Prankster Moonlight, it's just, it's too valuable to have Sableye fall asleep here. Um, but I also don't want to take a lot of damage. I guess we have to go into Hallucha. I mean, the bright side is that I did not bring Vivian, so I can switch in my other two Pokemon on the rocks pretty easily and not have to worry about it, but still. So, we're going to Hallucha and see what he wants to do. Maybe a Waterfall? I don't think he's going to go for Ice Punch. I do not think. Maybe EQ if we're lucky. No, he goes for the yawn again. The double yawn. Not even bad. So he's going to get hurt by the burn there. And, oh, out comes the citrus berry. Oh, my gosh. 
this is gonna take forever, isn't it? He's just gonna spam yawn. I can feel it. I can feel it. I have a bad feeling about this. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna switch back out into Sableye here because he can't really do a whole lot. Unless this is special Swampert and it has like Surf or something, but that would be kind of strange. Well, I guess not. Not that strange. It's just not very common. Anyway, uh, he does go for the yawn again as he gets hurt by the burn. And he, we could go for a foul play, but I don't want that Sylveon coming in and just killing everything. We need to try to keep our Pokemon awake. I don't want to have to sacrifice anything. We're probably going to need all three to take out that Sylveon. So I'll go into Diggersby here, and hopefully you don't go for Waterfall. Don't go for Waterfall, please. We only take 10 HP worth of damage from that Stealth Rocks, and he's just spamming Yawn. Now, we could bite the bullet, and EQ would definitely take out this Swampert from there, I would think. I would hope. I mean, if it's physically defensive, maybe not. But, I mean, Diggersby is so powerful. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to U-turn, because that'll deal a solid chunk. Yeah, that does a nice amount of damage, and... I don't know that the burn is going to take him out this turn. I can't believe he's just spamming Yawn. He's using this Swampert for nothing else. He's seen all of my Pokemon so far. Ah, I don't like that. Stealth Rock and then the Yawn spam. Now, at least we can Moonlight the damage away, I guess. It depends on what that last Pokemon is. It really depends. On, first of all, if we can get past the Sylveon, because I know he's going to bring that out here. Seeing the rest of my team, it just gets pooped on by Sylveon, honestly. So, I, I'm not feeling so good about this. We're going to switch back into Diggersby, and he will go down to the burn this turn. We'll see what he wants to go for. He opts to go for the Surf! Oh no, Diggersby, can you take that? Wow, okay, so we ended up sacrificing a Pokemon. Anyway, after all that, and he turns out to have Surf instead of Waterfall. Unbelievable. Unbelievable! I really did not want to lose a Pokemon to that Swampert just because of the, the Yawn Spam. I wasn't, wasn't a fan of that. Now, he's going to bring in that, that Sylveon. And Hawlucha should be able to take it out, I would think, with a Sky Attack. But we need to, like, we need to try to get some more burn damage going. So, I'm going to go into Sableye and... We're not going to take a Hyper Voice, and you know that's what this thing is going to go for. So even if I were to Moonlight back up to full HP, that's not going to do us any good. Uh, Choice Specs, or Life Orb, or Choice Scarf, it doesn't matter. Even if you're not offensive, it would probably still take out Sableye. Yeah, there's the Hyper Voice, so we get a little bit of burn damage. And the thing is that Sylveon is just so bulky it's so hard to one shot it even if you have just a little bit of prior damage and we're gonna go for the double protect here I don't even care and we get it Sableye pulls off the double protect and I don't feel bad about that at all because of uh, you're just gonna use yawn on every single turn that is your strategy I don't feel bad about going and uh, getting the, the double protect I'll go for the moonlight here we don't outspeed Anyway, so there's no reason to go for foul play. He's just going for Hyper Voice. Probably locked into it, honestly. And there we go. So, Sableye, yeah. You did uh, everything that you could. At least you did not miss a single Will-O-Wisp. You were two for two, and then you pulled off a double protect. I really could not ask for anything more than that. And now it's going to come down to Hawlucha. And can our beautiful, shiny Hawlucha kill this thing in one hit with a... Uh, power Herb Activated Sky Attack. It is Stab. It's like 140 base power. It's only 90% accuracy, so we need to hope that it doesn't miss, honestly. But the good part about that is that we're going to get it on Burden Boost as well. So we should outspeed whatever comes in, even if it's Scarfed. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Here we go. The Sky Attack. And it does take out the Sylveon. I think that was a just a very close KO. At least, that's what it seemed like with how slow that HP bar was dropping. Anyway, uh, we have Gallade coming out here, and this is probably going to be Mega Gallade. And you are not taking out a Hawlucha because an Acrobatics is going to one-shot you. You have low physical defense. It's like base, what, 60 maybe? It does get patched up if he Mega Evolves, which he's doing right now. I think it goes up to base 90 or base 95, something like that. But I am adamant, Hawlucha, 
And the reason that I run Adamant is because you get the Unburdened Boost, so there's really no need to have all of that, um, all that extra speed from Jolly and all the speed investment and everything. So Acrobatics takes out Mega Gallade in one hit, and we pull out the victory. We were 2-0 coming into this episode. We are now 3-0 on the series. The series is young, and I'm sure we'll get our first loss in this episode in the uh, second battle, but still. That was a very uh, satisfying victory. I'm perfectly okay losing the next match after that. Whenever somebody does something really cheeky, like they're just blatantly toxic stalling you for no reason, or they're power flinching you, or they have stupid items like, uh, I don't know, King's Rock, Bright Powder, or they use Swagger, these kinds of nonsense things. Minimize is another one. If they use these nonsense strategies, it's always extra, extra satisfying to beat them. Definitely. Especially if it comes from something as, as silly as a double protect. I don't know if that was uh, necessary. I don't know if the sky attack would have taken it out from there. I'm not sure. It may not have mattered at all. But it was still funny that it kind of succeeded. And double protecting is kind of a cheeky strategy in its own right. So that's the thing. Alright, so we have... Uh, wow. A lot of power here. Crocoon is here. Then we have Porygon 2. We have Latias... We have Rotom Heat, Landorus, Therian, and Mega Mewile, I'm guessing. So we can probably rule out that Latias as being Mega. Um, I don't know what to do here. This team is not going to match up well. Uh, I guess we'll bring Diggersby. We'll bring uh, Mega Manectric and Sharpedo. I mean, Sharpedo can take out the Latias. Sharpedo can also take out the uh, the Landorus, depending. It, it would really depend. We would need to come in on the Landorus first and not get intimidated, obviously. Uh, and then we can we can waterfall it, and it'll be a good time. Uh, I don't know. Waterfall might not take out that Rotom Heat in one hit either. Maybe I shouldn't bring the Sharpedo. Hmm. I don't know. But that Destiny Bond could be very, very useful. Because, like, what is Halucha really going to take on? I mean, we can high jump kick things, but I think Sharpedo would probably just be our best bet there. So, Vivian not getting into a battle this time around. We'll try to bring try to bring the buggy in the uh, third and final episode with this team. I'm going to try to record three sessions today. So, finish off this one uh, with one more episode, and then two more sessions with different teams. Three episodes apiece, of course, after this. See how that goes. That's a lot to record in one day, but I can make it happen. So we have Diggersby out here against Landorus. Gets an Intimidate off, which is a bit unfortunate, but I can't really touch you anyway. I would have to go for, like, Stone Edge, and that's not the best coverage move. And with my luck, it would just miss anyway. Uh, so what we can do is U-Turn. I wouldn't be surprised to see this thing U-Turn, honestly. And he's probably Scarf, so he's probably just going to go first anyway. He's going to outspeed our Scarfer. Yeah, he is Scarfed. All right, so the Scarfed Intimidate. And that's not good because he's going to outspeed Manectric even after we Mega Evolve. So that, that Scarfed uh, EQ is going to be a problem. Because I don't have anything on my team that can outspeed it. Diggersby is my go-to outspeeding of things Pokemon. And that's just not going to happen here. So we're going to U-turn. We're at minus one. And that is not very effective. I believe that is a four times resisted move because Steel and Fairy both resist Bug. If I am remembering correctly, if I'm getting my uh, my type chart right, which I often I often get things wrong uh, when it comes to Bug type. I don't know. That's just the type that I'm just not very good at. I know it's super effective on it, but like if you're using a Bug move, I just for some reason always butcher the uh, the resistances. I don't know why. It just, it's something that happens. Anyway, we're going to go into Manectric here. And Overheat would do a lot of damage to this. And I kind of want to go for it. But it depends on what that other Pokemon is. But I guess we have to kind of scout here. Uh, Latias, maybe. Or Rotom. Either or. And it's going to be the Latias. I do have Snarl for this thing. Uh, to at least lower its special attack. And it's also a super effective hit, which does a surprising amount of damage. I've been in this situation before. It does way more than you would think it would. Now, it 
if I were to go for it on the next turn, it's not going to do much because I'm going to be at minus two, obviously. Yeah, overheat doesn't do much at all. There goes our special attack. And yeah, that's not so good. Now, I don't really know if I have anything to switch in. He's probably not going to just fire off a Psychic, right? He's probably going to go for a Dragon-type move. I don't know. But I'm going to Volt Switch here, and we will see what happens. Maybe I can go into Diggersby, because a U-turn would hurt. But then he would just bring in the Landorus. This is going to be such a long, drawn-out match in which I don't have the advantage at all. <laughs> I kind of like that, though. I kind of like not having the advantage. It would be really tricky going into Sharpedo here. So what if he doesn't go for Psychic or Psy Shock? Yeah, we have to go into Diggersby. I don't think he's going to go for Psy. He'd probably go for Dragon Pulse, I would think. You would think. Could be wrong. And I am wrong. The Psychic comes our way. That might just take out Diggersby. No, it doesn't. Wow. Is that a calm mindset, maybe? That just doesn't have any boosts right now? That's, that did not do much at all. Hmm. I'll go for the EQ, predicting the Mawile to come out. Oh, wait, no, he's he probably going to bring out the Landorus. That, mmm. Yeah, that makes sense. There's no reason to switch in the, the Mawile. I was hoping we get a little bit cheeky and be like, oh, Mawile, four times resist U-turn. That did no damage last time. And we can just take that, and I was going to hit you with an EQ, and it would be a fun time. But instead, the stupid Landorus comes out, who's immune to the EQ, which... On second thought, it was a really stupid play to even uh, even uh, even go for the EQ when he's got two immunities to <laughs> ground-type moves. So Diggersby goes down. That was just kind of a bad play on my part, honestly. And the Mawile maybe will come out here. No, it's going to be the Latias. Okay. Um, now, we could go into Sharpedo and go for a Crunch, but I don't know that that would kill. And we need Sharpedo to take out the Landorus. So, we can't throw it away or the match is lost. Uh, Manectric, on the other hand, is not a necessity to win this match. So, yeah, because it doesn't take on the Mawile too well and all that. So, we go for the Snarl. That does a surprising amount of damage. The special attack is going to get dropped. And we see the Psychic coming out. And I have no idea what item this is. There's no lefties. Are you choiced? Hmm. I feel like that's not choice specs damage, though. I feel like that's not even offensive damage because it couldn't one-shot a Diggersby. And Diggersby has no investment in anything. I don't know. All right. Well, I, you know what? I'm just going to predict another Psychic here. I'm going to go into Sharpedo, play a little bit risky. We're going to have to take a risk or two to win this match. And we see a withdrawal. And who is coming out? It's going to be the Landorus. Who's going to get an Intimidate off. And that stinks. It really stinks. Hmm. Going back into Manectric is silly because he can just EQ. And EQ takes out my entire team. Because Sharpedo is so freaking frail that I don't think you can take a a uh, an EQ even from even from full HP, which is mind-bogglingly sad. No, he's going for U-turn, so he's locking himself into that. We're getting a speed boost, so uh, we do naturally outspeed this thing. But I am adamant, so it really depends on if this thing is Jolly Scarf or if it's Adamant Scarf, um, because Sharpedo has base 95 speed. I am running max speed, but like I said, adamant nature. So I could try to go for the double protect. Or we could go for destiny bond and then have him just take us out and we can take this Landorus down with us and then go to work on the rest of the team. Never mind, he is jolly. And that is going to take out Sharpedo. An unstab U-turn takes out Sharpedo in one hit. That's terrible. That is terrible. Well, if I was jolly there, we would have had a, a speed tie. That really wouldn't have done much for me because I probably would have lost that anyway. And that is pretty much going to lose the match for us as he goes out into the Latias. Now, Overheat can do a lot to the Mega Mawile, but I don't think that it would be a one-shot. So, and regardless, it's, it's not going to matter because I can't kill that Landorus. I'm not packing the HP Ice. 
And that is a critical hit. Down goes the Latias. If I did have the HP Ice over the Snarl, I might be in a better position. Actually, no, it wouldn't matter because this Landorus is Scarfed. He outspeeds and he would just EQ me and I'd die anyway. So it, it really did not matter what my moveset was. It didn't really matter what plays I made there. I was just going to lose this match. That's just what it was. Uh, so, But the, the play with the Digger's Beat was bad on my part. I'll, I will say that much. So my opponent's going to get the victory there. And that is going to be our first loss of the series. But the fact that we started off 3-0, that's pretty promising. Although it probably it probably should have been... We probably should be 2-2 two and two right now. Because in the first episode, we only won that first match because of a missed Hydro Pump. But, uh, I don't know. We don't need to live in the past, right? We are 3-1, and one, and that is not a bad record to have at all. We have one more episode to try out this team a little bit more. I would like to get Vivian in and have some more action there because I don't think it's done much. Didn't even bring it into a battle in this uh, episode, and it didn't do a whole lot in the last one either. So, I'm going to try to get some action next time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure you're leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever you would like to do. And I will see you all next time. And until then, game on.